It's Tech Lid, and we're bullish. The stampede is coming, baby. In today's video, we will be talking about Apple stock. We're gonna get away from cryptocurrencies just for today. The title of this from The Motley Fool, this article that we're gonna talk about here a bit, is Apple stock a buy? Let's get right into it. In the eyes of some investors, Apple may have lost its appeal as an investment, with the company now roughly 10 years removed from the departure of Steve Jobs as its driving force and CEO. One might assume it has already seen its best days. With a market cap now exceeding $2 trillion, it is much more difficult to grow at rates that will make new investors millionaires off of a modest investment. But is that enough reason to avoid taking a chance on this stock? Apple management is now putting the vast resources it has accumulated to work and used its expertise to continue producing compelling products, manage new services, and develop new industries that still give investors plenty of reasons to buy Apple stock and never sell. Before we continue with this video though, a quick disclaimer. I am not a financial advisor. Make sure to always do your own due diligence and research when you invest in any type of market. When you do the homework and you do the research, you will come out winning. Bank on it. The price of Apple today is currently at about $122 and some change. The stock has been falling. It's been falling slowly, but what is one thing that we know about Apple? Every single time that Apple gets knocked down, it gets back up. There's not much here to worry about in my opinion. I think this is just a small correction a better buying opportunity for those that are long on Apple. Let's see here with the article a little more. Apple continues to innovate. Admittedly, the death of Steve Jobs in October 2011 left a bit of a void in the company. In the years that followed, its new product seemed to make it more of a competitor than a leader in the tech industry. Of course, this is referring to Android, Google, Samsung, all of these guys that pretty much, quite frankly, to be honest, many believe they have a much superior product than Apple. Apple has one thing going for it, its ecosystem. It is a seamless ecosystem, but at the end of the day, many do believe that products from other competitors are superior. But one thing that those companies don't have is the name brand recognition. Apple can release a phone with literally the same specs, everything the same as the phone they released before it. It could be an identical phone. And I think that just because it has Apple on it, people will buy. Yeah, believe it. People believe in Apple that much. Now... Let's go to the final part of this article. Don't bet against Apple. Despite its size, Apple continues to produce innovative products and the demand for those products continues to generate massive profits and cash flow for Apple. With its mammoth market cap, this tech stock will have a much tougher time minting as many millionaires going forward as it has in the past decade. Nonetheless, both new and long-time Apple bulls can still count on Apple growth story continuing at some level for years to come. You know what? I believe this is true because Apple actually has products that they haven't even released yet. Samsung is leaps and bounds of head of Apple when it comes to this. Foldable displays for their phones. The iPhone will have a foldable display. However, Samsung is going to manufacture it. Basically, Apple cannot get it done without Samsung. But because this is the case, Apple has those products to fall back on. It's a product that they haven't released yet and it will eventually, at some point, come out for Apple. 
And when that does happen, I'm pretty sure that will be a catalyst to drive up the price of the stock, among other things. Until the next time, peace and love to the Tech Lid Legion.